welcome back to you in the lock with Alex. Today is the final instalment, the final track, the final song, whatever you want to call it. It is our mate, track 10. And uh, yeah, I feel like I've saved the best till last. Let's get straight to it. Now, as I kind of mentioned in the last video, I was in a boy band. Well, I guess I still am, but we're a little bit inactive. We haven't released, we haven't played anything. Uh, and the two of the members were Tamoy, who you heard the song with, and Josh. And we decided over lockdown that we might as well write. We didn't really have any, anything else to do. So we were like, let's jump on a call and write. And I had this idea. Now, it's a little bit difficult for me to play with here, only with one hand, but it started out with a B flat in the bass, D minor seven in the right, F in the bass, another D minor seven, and then A in the bass and like a C major, add four. I think the best way for me to explain it is to come over here and play you this little clip. If I can turn this up, which sounds like this. Super atmospheric. And I had this idea in the lyrics, which was to say something like, do you remember um, like when we were younger, basically? And then there was lyric like, I'm trying to think of it. It was it was kind of a quote. It, it originated from a quote, and the quote was like, "You don't realize the significance of a moment until it becomes a memory." And I was like, and that's what I basically said in the lyric. Which, if I play for you, or in fact, I should just read it for you right now, because it's on the floor. It goes, "Didn't quite realize the significance of the moment. Now it's a memory. Now you're a memory." So, which was quite sad, but that was the how it originated. Yeah, I actually have the whole track here. It's a bit frustrating, as in the last video, with not having Tamoy to talk through his parts. You know, I wish I could have recorded, like, the, the Facebook call that we had, just writing the lyrics and kind of tweaking stuff. But yeah, I want to take you through the project and uh, take you through kind of all of the crazy vocals, all of the song parts, because really, as I said, I feel like I've saved the best till last. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Right, okay, let's get straight in. I uh, realised as well, I hadn't even told you the name of the song, uh, and the song name is Necklace which you'll hear is one of the lyrics. But yeah, I guess I'll start at the start of the song with the pads and this kind of like pluck. As I said, it was very kind of atmospheric. And there was this like pluck and these vocal chops, which I actually cut together. They weren't all how I wanted them to, so I basically cut them together and put loads of effects on, which I'll play. Then my vocal. The 17th of December. We were falling with the snow. Just you and me alone. Didn't quite realize the significance of the moment. Now it's a memory. And there's an underlay as well. Now you're a memory. Then comes in Tamoy's vocal and some percussion which I will play, and a piano, which just plays the chords, which I tried to explain badly on piano. B flat in the bass, and a D minor seven. Then an F in the bass, another D minor seven. Uh, and then an A in the bass with this, which I think is, a, as it says, A minor seven flat 13. Yes, which sounds like this. Do you remember the necklace I gave you? We were only 17 and our minds were full of dreams Didn't quite realize the significance of the moment Now it's a memory, now you're a memory And then basically the production becomes quite like chill dance, I guess, in the chorus. I'm not going to play Josh's vocals just yet because they are amazing and I want to like just wait a little bit. So I basically made this like piano stab with this on top and an arc. Bass, sub, drums. So that is the production in the chorus, and then comes Josh's vocals, which are incredible. In fact, let me play them to you without any production. Do you remember, do you remember, losing all focus in the heat of the moment? And if I slowly bring everything do in... Remember, do you remember, losing all focus in the heat of the moment? And 
Now, they're a bit quiet, and that's something I just realised. I probably need to go and make them a little bit louder. When the final mix comes out tomorrow, I'm sure it'll be absolutely perfect. Don't worry. Josh's vocals aren't going to get, like, lost in the mix at all. Then the second verse comes along, and I come back in and do just a little bit of a vocal with some harmonies and ad-libs. When we have the treasure, now I've buried it And Josh also does some ad-libs. you hear that I also kind of go underneath Josh and do some kind of extra little backing vocals. They're probably a little bit loud right now, but even so, also works. And the one final thing I wanted to play was Josh's incredible bridge. Just sounds insane i mean josh is like ear for harmonies and everything just incredible uh, and then there's this ad lib as well kind of like building back up for this last chorus which he brings in those original vocals again and my back vocals. so yeah it's um one of my favorite songs it's really hard to explain you know when we usually go about making music with the band it's always like we'll just do it in the studio and we'll smash it out in a day but this was such like a long process because we wrote it i wrote bits then they came and changed bits then i recorded vocals cut mine tamoy did then josh came and so there were so many different parts and then josh kind of wanted to add loads of backing and took it to the next level and so yeah for me to see it finally together even though it's not perfect yet uh, it will be for tomorrow and yeah let me jump into the lyrics for you and uh, i'll talk you through them so verse one says uh, do you remember the 17th of december we were falling with the snow just you and me alone didn't quite realize the significance of the moment now it's a memory now you're a memory which is quite impactful quite sad then tamoy do you remember that necklace i gave you we were only 17 and our minds were full of dreams didn't quite realize the significance of the moment now it's a memory now you're a memory and then Josh, do you remember, do you remember losing our focus in the heat of the moment? And then it repeats that and then Josh obviously has his uh, additional ad-libs and back backing vocals. And I don't know why, this song, uh, for me, it wasn't necessarily, I didn't start it about a particular moment in my life, but it just, it really hits the feels. Like, it's just sad and I don't know why. It just, it makes me think when I was 17, like, maybe I did something wrong, you know? Anyway, jumping into verse two, which says, do you remember when we had the treasure? Now I've buried it away six feet deeper than the pain, which is quite a nice kind of play on words because when you bury things or when you bury things, when you bury a person or a family member, you know, everyone's like six feet under, referring to death, which is quite sad. Didn't quite realize the significance of our, that, the moment, all of our memories take them away from me. So this, you know, this person's haunted. Like maybe when I started writing this, I was like haunted. And then it drops back into Josh's, do you remember losing our folks in the heat of the moment? Do you remember losing our folks in the heat of the moment? And I think that's quite a like impactful lyric, losing your folks in the heat of the moment. It, it kind of makes your mind think like, wow, you know, um, there was something very deep there and then you kind of lost it in that instant and now it's all memories. And as I said, it really was inspired by a quote, the song. So yeah, I'm maybe get some more quotes out to inspire more songs, but it's, as I say, it's frustrating that I can't have Josh and Tamoy here with me to talk through it. and. I'm sure it'd be a bit more lively, but yeah, that is Necklace and the audio will be out tomorrow. It's the last song in this album, the collab album, which is, wow, yeah, this has just flown by. I guess I haven't had to do as much work as usual, so it's been nice to balance and take the pressure off a little bit. But yeah, I will catch up with you in like a few days time for the recap video. And if you have enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, share. I'll catch you in a few days time. Bye bye and peace.